Hey Carson, uh, what differences did you notice in your in your performance basically from week one to week two? Uh, I think the big thing for me was, uh, you know, getting through my reads, uh, finding the check down if necessary, uh, being smart with the ball, and then just getting the ball to guys in space. I mean, I think that's the biggest thing. We, I think we saw that in the game in Utah State. We had a lot of guys in space making plays. Hey, Carson, how much has it helped the running game being off to such a good start? How much does that help you as a young quarterback to kind of ease into the role? I mean, it's huge. Uh, you know, football is running the ball. Anytime you can run the ball and – be effective in the run game, it, it opens up everything else. So our O-line, our running backs, our receivers blocking have been tremendous these past two games. With all that success, you guys haven't had to rely on the pass too much. Do you think the pass will be more of a focus the next couple couple weeks? I think I think the pass is always important. I mean, I think the past two games we've we've thrown when we needed to, we've made the, the throws that we've, you know, had to in the in the situation. So I think it's a great balance. Hey, Carson, how would you compare just your level of comfort in the position from your start last year to start one of this season to start two and kind of progressing forward from? Yeah, I think, I mean, your first start, you're always, you know, nervous. You want to feel the game, feel the speed. But, you know, at this point, I think it's my third game or fourth game, whatever it is. And I, I feel comfortable out there. I feel like I'm getting through my reads. I'm seeing it well. So I just want to keep that up. Uh, your coach said last week that um, you know you'll you'll accept whatever formula is necessary to get the win. And obviously, the first week was the run game. The second week, obviously, heavy dose of the run game as well. Um, how much of of your job is kind of figuring that out as as the game goes, and just kind of your role and um, figuring out what is effective for you guys as an offense, and uh, just making sure you got to do what you got to do to to get the ball in the right place to. Um, continue to be effective in that sense? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about scoring points and uh, getting a win. And I think the first two weeks we've done that, we put plus 30 up. So, you know, that's just doing our job, and we're going to try to keep that up. What challenges does the San Jose State defense present this week that might be different than the past two weeks for you? Uh, San Jose State, they're, they're really disciplined on defense. Uh, got some good guys up front, good guys in the secondary. So uh, it'll be a challenge for us, and uh, we're excited to get after it. From studying film, are there any particular guys on their defense that you're particularly aware of? Uh, you know, it's college football. They can all play football. They're all good guys. Um, we're just going to try to execute what we can. Uh, get, Like I said, get the ball to guys in space and uh, just try to make plays. Is playing on a Friday night remind you of high school days more? Yeah, it's a little different, but uh, we'll be ready to go. Is there any chatter um, amongst the players kind of in the locker room about not being ranked in the top 25 poll after the two really impressive performances you guys have had so far? No, I don't think so. I don't think we're uh, too worried about that. I think for us, we're just worried about every week, how can we go 1-0? and And, you know, we got to keep that going. And, uh, you know, we're not really worried about where they rank us and all that. You guys hit on some explosive plays, particularly in the second game. What, what does that do for you as a quarterback, uh, confidence as a whole offensively, uh, knowing you don't necessarily have to grind out 15 play drives every time out. You have the, the weapons and the ability to you know bust big ones um, on a pretty regular basis. Yeah, I mean, that's the goal on our offense is we want to score fast. We want to score you know a lot of yards, get over the top in the run game, break big runs, and that's what make offense fun. So we're going to try to keep doing that and uh, keep going. Does that feel like a, a difference from last year? I mean, every offense wants to break big plays, but is there more of an emphasis uh, placed on breaking them this year, given some of the changes you made kind of offensively and the tempo and that sort of thing? I mean, for us, it's just every time we go out there, every single play, we're looking to score. You know, uh, you look to score, good things are going to happen. So that's just our mindset. In this offense this year, do you think there should be any uh, – Position players we should be looking for more as far as distributing the ball. Do you think the tight ends will be more of a focus coming up or the wide receivers or anything in particular? You know, I think we got a lot of guys. and I think we got a lot of guys that are unselfish. And, you know, we're having a lot of success right now. So, you know, we're spreading the ball. We're doing those things. So, I mean, I guess I guess a little bit. But, you know, we're just trying to score points. And, the, I mean, I know you guys strive for some balance. So what do you think will be a typical game for you as the season unfolds more? Is it 25 passes? Is it more? Or is it just kind of how the game goes? I think it, it's whatever it needs to be. If we got to throw it 40 times, we'll do it. If we got to run it 50 times, we'll do it. It's just, you know, what the defense comes out in and what our coaches think is going to work best, that's what we're going to do.